I'm Iron Man. Well, well, Matthew Reinhardt, hey, um, let me take that off. Anyways, I'm sorry I can't be there. Um, I got COVID last week, so still not negative. And I wish I was there, but you don't wish I was there. So um, I hope you're having a great time. And thanks for having me, even if it's in this little video segment. Well, what am I here to talk about today? Hey, Marvel superheroes, the ultimate pop-up. Okay, so let me tell you how a pop-up book is made real quick. We start out with concepts and ideas. Sometimes it's words, sometimes it's pictures. You know, because we want to get an idea of what will happen on each page and, you know, what's the big cool thing and who are the characters we want to focus on. And next, you know, then I know exactly where to start cutting and folding and making the pop-ups. And sometimes that can take me a day. Sometimes it could take me weeks to come up with just one pop-up. And I have to build it over and over again. I begin by hand. I don't do it in the computer as far as modeling it in the computer. But then I do use the computer to make what are called die lines. And those are the, the pieces, those are the outlines of the pieces where there are folds and where there are cuts to make the pop-up pieces. So um, once I make the die lines, the next step is making art guides. And I sort of give them a rough idea of what I would like drawn. And they, any, all of these artists, there were three different artists that work with me on this book and I'll take their art and I'll chop it up and I'll put it on the pop-up pieces and I can't tell you enough how much of a collaboration this whole project is. It's not just me making the book, it's other people. We're all collaborating together. The amazing artists who worked on this book were Aaron Lepresti, he's amazing. I've worked with him before. Um, Paul Pelletier and Stacey Lee Phillips and the colors were done by Rachel Rosenberg and John Tyler Christopher did this amazing cover. So it's a group effort. I think, you know, I knew I was going to start with Spider-Man. And he was the easiest, I think, for me to get started with because he's one of my favorite heroes. And um, I, I have had this pop-up in my head probably for about 15, 20 years. I've been thinking about how I wanted to compose it and have, you know, all the motion of having him sort of like suspended over the city. And I always remember him from um, the electric company because I'm old. Next up, we have Captain America, Falcon, Black Widow, Black Panther, and Hawkeye. And I wanted to evoke like the classic comic book cover with all the heroes coming out towards the reader and, and sort of exploding um, in action and the characters running out towards the reader. Ow, ow, don't poke at me, don't poke at me. This one was a lot of fun. This was extreme. This was such a pain to be able to design because look, like all these pieces fold into each other, um, but it was totally worth it. All right, so the Avengers pop. Well, it's hard to get all these characters all in one place, right? And um, I, I wanted to show that most of these, you know, most of our Avenger characters transform, and especially Tony Stark here, he's looking a little smug, and you have this pull tab right down here, and what do we do? I don't know, I think I'm gonna put on a different suit. Chabrang. There's old Doctor Strange. He's starting some hexes. My favorite one, of course, is um, uh, Incredible Hulk. I just love this. And there's all kinds of Easter eggs, too, um, inside the, um, the headquarters. But I love this one. It was actually inspired by a toy from, like, the 90s of, um, of Incredible Hulk. It had a breakaway sort of little um, vault that you pull it, and he explodes out. So I knew I needed to have that Hulk smash moment with a little pull tab there. A late addition to the book were the Fantastic Four. And um, I, I've always loved this team because they're a family, they're regular people that you know are, are transformed into superheroes. And, and, and this pop-up actually has this really cool pull tab on the side and they all transform all at the same time because they all were irradiated. And I don't need to tell you guys this story, but anyways, uh, I love this one. It was really hard actually to get working because there's four different pull tabs all working at once and to get it to be really smooth. And then inside this side pop, we have Doom and uh, you kids get off of my lawn. Mutant time, that's right. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 so um, the X-Men were like essential to this book. Uh, and, and I wanted to have like sort of a fallen sentinel and, and all the X-Men, the classic X-Men from Beast to Wolverine, um, Colossus, Jubilee, like all of these characters all fighting this like barely held together sentinel robot that still, you know, 
that's still giving them hell, right? Uh, here we go, the big bad guy, here he is, Galactus. And we have all the heroes like all over him, fighting him, you know, he's like, oh, that just itches, that's no big deal. This pop-up actually went through a couple of different iterations. It, it f at first stretched across the page and it was a little bit like, meh. And so my editor said, could you make it taller? And I was like, let's, let's do it. So he really gets tall off the page. I hunger. Mm. Hmm. So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this little sneak peek at uh, Marvel Superheroes, the ultimate pop-up book. And I hope you uh, enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'm so happy to share it with you finally now. Um, so, oh, by the way, um, we're going to be giving away posters uh, that has the art, the amazing art from the cover of this book and they're gonna be numbered. And in a couple weeks on my YouTube channel, uh, which is under my name, Matthew Reinhardt. So on my YouTube channel, we're going to give away five limited edition, handmade by me, um, superhero Marvel pop-ups that aren't in this book to, uh, to about five different people. So be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel and don't forget to get one of those posters because they're each one's gonna have a number and I'm gonna announce who wins. But most important, enjoy San Diego Comic-Con, please, for me, while I recover here, and um, Excelsior. Bye.